Hi, this is Dave Wise with MMZ Detroit. This is a continuation of a series of videos which we're going to explore lynch road assembly and more specifically the trim tag or body coat body coat plate. So just a real quick recap. When a order is received, the customer goes to the dealer, they place an order. From there, the order is transferred to at this at this point, 1969 is what we're looking at. It would go to Highland Park. Highland Park would receive the order. The data would be input into what they referred to as their IBM 790s. That was their mainframe machines. That would, uh, the order would be received from the dealer. And whether it was a sold car, uh, order bank car, a special car, etc., etc., they would start to sort and try to determine where is the best location for this vehicle to be produced. They would do high level edits of the order to ensure that the vehicle can be built. Just because the dealer ordered it, it may not have been properly processed. So if it is properly processed and, it, and it's allowed to move forward and say they selected Lynch Road to build this vehicle, it would then be transferred to the production control department. And believe it or not, back then, there wasn't a lot of high transferring of electronic data over wire. It was just in its infancy. So they would literally mail the information to Lynch Road Assembly to the Production Control Department. The Production Control Department at that point would go through their own system, do some high level checks, order status, try to determine if it actually can be built or not. And then if it can be built, that information then would be put on the plant's IBM 360 machines. They had dual machines, 100% backup. This data included, included not just, but including Schedule build date, vehicle order master files, and again, high-level edits that took place to ensure you could be built. So from there, the order was turned into basically a punch card. This punch card was punched on a IBM 029s, and this was a, we had readers, there was verifiers, as well as the actual punch machine. This punch card then would be sent to the body shop. In the body shop is where the birth of a vehicle started. So the, as we talked about before, the actual, an actual tape would be generated. And the only thing they used the tape for at that point in time was the generation of the, of the trim tag. Now, coming out of the body shop, there were basically two documents that would come out. You would actually have the body, the body tag, which was really predominantly for the body shop. And then you had something that was the body and white data sheet. We'll explore more of the body and white data sheet in another video. But to, but to get back to the trim tag. So the trim tags, Lynch Road Assembly. Lynch Road Assembly was located in Mont Elliott Lynch Road. And if you ever notice a Lynch Road tag, an original tag has very little paint. That's because they were often hung from the roof rail. They were hung from the roof rail with, with wires such as what is on this tag. And this is actually a wire that was found, nothing more than a paper clip. It was found under the car, under a car that we inspected one time. It was an original unrestored car. So there are other process sheets that are produced at the plant, goes through final assembly. There's, there's other, um, if you will, indicators that are in final assembly of what other action has to happen to the car. And then certainly they go off the end of the line. And we'll explore more of that in greater detail at a future video. So again, this was a basically video showing the Lynch Road assembly tag. We'll talk more about that in the future. If you like this information, Please subscribe to our channel and feel free to leave comments. That's the only way we can improve our content. If we receive comments from you, share it with a friend. And please ring the bell for notification of when we drop another video. And thank you very much for watching.